Hello and welcome to the Daily Comic and Collectible, episode 337. Now today, the collectible of the day is the Hot Toys, Marvel Comics, Origins Collection, Collector's Edition, Iron Man, one-sixth scale action figure. This action figure should look familiar to many of you who watch all my episodes. I purchased this piece because of what it can do. Let me explain. Iron Man is one of the greatest heroes in the Marvel Universe, having created a wondrous suit of armor to keep himself alive. He revises it dozens of times, each version with increased capabilities, faster operations, less energy usage, and adaptability to the greatest threats. Going back to the origins of our favorite superheroes, the Origins Collection takes an inspiration directly from the comic book pages. So Marvel proudly presents the red and gold Iron Man armor and a sixth scale die-cast figure with reimagined crystal parts to give it that comic book flair. With LED light-up functions, intricate design and structure illustrating its mechanical detail. Beautifully painted in red and gold with metallic appearance, crystal clear armor parts, interchangeable masks and armor parts for different styles and eras to display. LED lights are scattered throughout the upper body, chest, and palms. I've changed out and replaced numerous pieces for him to match his Model 2 look in this issue. Iron Man stands 13 inches in height and comes with an array of accessories and interchangeable parts along with display stand and base. 3D Design and Concept by Pia Studios has over 30 points of articulation and over 30 interchangeable pieces to design your Iron Man as he looked in your favorite comic book time period, released by Hot Toys Collectibles. Now the comic of the day is Marvel Collector's Item Classics, issue number 15, with the cover date of June 1968. This is a reprint of Tales of Suspense, issue number 55, with the cover date of July 1964, with story by Stan Lee, art by Don Heck, and cover by Jack Kirby. This story is titled, No One Escapes the Mandarin. We pick up from the last issue with Iron Man, a prisoner of the Mandarin. Iron Man's about to be destroyed when he comes up with a way to bluff his way out of the villain's grasp. Because the Madman is unaware that Iron Man and Tony Stark are the same person, the Golden Avenger reminds the Mandarin that after escaping capture from his guards, Stark remains loose in the castle, and could be foiling the Mandarin's plan at any moment. The Mandarin is forced to look for Stark, and leaves the machine that would have killed Iron Man in standby. Thanks to a miniature generator in his suit, Iron Man recharges his armor and breaks free from the steel whips. Iron Man stealthily follows the Mandarin through the castle. Once the Mandarin reaches a chamber where the two Observer missiles had been stolen or being held, a light signal flashes in the villain's computer, alerting him that American military is preparing to launch another Observer missile. Iron Man waits for the Mandarin to reveal how he intercepts the missiles, and then attacks the villain. After knocking the Mandarin with the magnetic repulsor, Iron Man damages the machine. However, it's too late. The automatic relays have taken over the operation, and the ray can't be stopped. Iron Man seemingly flees from the castle and flies into the missile at the right angle and speed, causing it to veer from its course and avoid the Mandarin's ray. In saving the missile, Iron Man is caught by the energy ray and pulled back into the castle. As he's forced to crash into the castle, Iron Man enters through a window leading to the Interceptor's Ray's chamber. He breaks a piece of stone masonry and hurls it at the Ray's power supply, exploding it. For thwarting his plan, the Mandarin swears to destroy Iron Man once and for all. After dodging a disintegrator ray from the villain, Iron Man runs away and falls into a trap door. Iron Man breaks his fall with his jet boots, where a pool of acid was waiting for him. The Golden Avenger smashes through the side of the pipe into a room with a deadly contraption. The device is activated by the Mandarin and crushes the hero. 
Iron Man survives the attack, but is forced to the floor into another room, where he encounters a giant-sized Mandarin. Iron Man tries to attack his giant foe, but it's merely an illusion created by an elaborate complex of mirrors. Stark glides down to the floor again and faces multiple Mandarins. Punching through the illusions at random doesn't work, as his attacks are quickly counteracted by the real Mandarin in the form of deadly blows. But through the use of a built-in sonar in his armor, Iron Man pins the real Mandarin and knocks him out with a single punch. Iron Man runs away, hoping to make it back to the missile chamber. The Mandarin recovers and follows Iron Man. Before the Mandarin can reach the chamber, he witnesses the missile flying back on the original way. The Mandarin considers using the interceptor ray, but as soon as he reaches it, Iron Man destroys it. One of the freed missiles lands on the American base, with Tony Stark inside it, who had managed to use it as a means to return, and had changed back into his superhero alter ego. After the army receives him, Tony returns to America and informs the Pentagon their problem has been solved. Geek Fact Tony Stark was regularly using his Model 2 armor model by this story. After a disastrous battle with the criminal Mr. Dahl, he realized the Model 1 was too cumbersome and caused an excessive use of energy just to sustain its own weight. He designed the sleeker, lighter Model 2. By this issue of Tells of Suspense, he'd already designed the more comfortable rounded helmet tips you see here and in my collectible. The Model 2's first appearance was in Tells of Suspense, issue number 48, with the cover date of September 1963. Bonus Geek Fact the Mandarin is a villain and the arch enemy of Iron Man. He was characterized as a megalomaniac, having attempted to conquer the world on several occasions, yet possessed a strong sense of honor. He's considered a genius scientist and a skilled martial artist. His primary source of power comes from the Ten Rings that he adapted from alien technology of a crashed spaceship. Mandarin's first appearance was in Tales of Suspense, issue number 50 with the cover date of January 1959. And final geek fact. The Mandarin's rings were created by Stan Lee and Don Heck. As the Mandarin's signature weapon, the rings are depicted as 10 jewelry band rings made of McLuhan technology, with each ring possessing a specific power. Later, they found out that each ring houses the spirit of a dead alien warrior and given upgrades to gain sentience. Side Geek Fact McLuhans are a race of dragon-like reptiles. They come from the planet McLua 4, also known as Kakaranathera. They have a highly advanced and peaceful society. Fin Fang Foom is a McLuhan. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining me for another Daily Comic and Collectible, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. This is Cat Fan Comics Man, and I'll catch you on the flip. Over and out.